All right, hey everyone, welcome back. This is Hope L Algebra with the next edition of YouTube Math. Today we're talking about rigid transformations and congruence. So follow along. Here it is. First thing, let's talk about congruency. Mentioning that all of these triangles are congruent, we need to know that congruent means same angle measures and same side lengths in this case, okay? We're not talking about rotations. We're not talking about reflections. We're not talking about dilations. Only a shift or a move up or down. Okay, so take a close look at this one. We see over here triangle A, B, C. We should be able to circle or shade triangles that have shifted, moved, translated. Okay, so here we go. Here's one. I'll just circle them. Another one. Notice that the short length is in the upper left here and here. Any other ones? That's it. Moving on. Talking about congruent pairs. So for each of the following pairs, decide whether or not they are congruent. You have to look really closely at the side lengths. You have to look to see, for instance, let's look a little bit more closely at this image. Okay. So I want you to think to yourself, what should you do to determine if they are congruent? And I gave you a hint. Look at the shape in the bottom right. Look to see in the shape in the upper left, which side corresponds with EF, okay? So here we are, side EF right here. Which side over here corresponds, okay? You should be looking up here to N. M. Now we need to see, again, are these the same side lengths, the same angle measures? You should be able to tell right away that no, these are not congruent, okay? Explain why. Take a close look. Look at side EF. How many units in length is it? One, two, okay? One, two. Up here, we're going for one. Oh, not quite two. So you could easily say um, sides. Oops, oh, excuse me. Down just a little bit. Sides are not same length. Okay? Sides are not the same length. Any questions? If you do, type them in the comments below. Leave them in the chat. I'll get back with you. Okay? Same type of question here. We'll let you do that one on your own. Take a screenshot. Complete it. Respond in the comments below. Here we go. A little bit more tricky now. But in the essence of time, I don't want to spend too much here. Let's look quickly at side QR, okay? So that's right here, connecting the two points Q and R. Look at this side and which side in the image corresponds with side QR. Notice that QR comes right off of this short length RS and from TS. So here it is, all right? you should be able to find that side HI corresponds to QR, okay? So on the side, you can just write HI. Hi. And are these shapes congruent? Let's take a look. Let's count them. QR, one, two, three. HI, one, two, three. Okay, what about side IJ? It's on a diagonal. So if this is one unit, this is one unit. This would be square roots of two units, roughly 1.41. Same thing with RS, square root of two. We'll probably learn more about that later. U and T, two units. K and L, two units. Okay, are they congruent? 
Uh, yeah, definitely. Explain why in the chat, okay? All sides are the same length, okay? All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this installation of Rigid Transformations and Congruence. This is Hopewell Algebra signing off. Till next time.